Once upon a time, evil spirits dwelled here, but, and in a sense, they still do. I will tell you a story. It happened long ago, even before the revolution. It happened here, not far from Cherdin. I heard my grandmother tell it. A man was fostering an orphan girl. He was a Noah. Everyone called him Old Yegor. She didn't want to become a witch, but he taught her his craft. She was to be married to a special young man. I can't recall what exactly happened, but this young man took his own life. He was later buried beyond the gates of the churchyard. Which meant that he would pass straight to hell. As for the orphan, Vasilisa, she refused to accept it. She was intent on bringing back his soul from the inferno. To do this, she would need to break the seven seals of the Black Book, which Old Igor kept, and retrieve him. And it was for that reason that Vasilisa agreed to become a witch. But to become one, she needed to be initiated in a banya or at a crossroads. And so Vasilisa set out for the crossroads. I slept poorly last night. Been waiting, hoping for you to return. But you haven't. You never said that. Where are you now, sweetheart? Where are you headed? From relatives and from the warm summer, you departed. There's no entrance or exit for you, it seems. From cold Mother Earth. There isn't even a churchyard fence to hold on to. Enough! I don't believe you would do this to yourself. <laughs> It'll all be well. I'll accept this knowledge from Grandpa. Though I know what you thought of that, but there's no other choice. I'll drag you from that robe myself. Sleep for now. Sleep. I won't be long. The darkness of the night is filled with anticipation. You're at Mikhail's crossroads, along with old Yegor. You know the ritual. The crosses look old. It seems people were buried here quite some time ago. Cherdin, 16 miles, Selikamsk, 102 miles, Nerop, 21 miles.
So, have you found the candles? Well done, all by yourself at that. Seems my teachings were not lost on you after all. Now let's draw a circle. Be careful not to leave any gaps, otherwise we'll be crushed by evil speed. I've made a circle. Is it all right, Grandfather? The circle is drawn. No gaps, good. Too late to dither now. You think that I can help him? Sure you can. You can do anything when you have the book. So says the legend. Well, go on. It's time for you to take my knowledge. Such a long time we've spent together. Parting with it is bittersweet. Well, Jane. Would you look at that? What power emanates from the book? The seal is open. It seems great sorcery lurks in you. Well, think about it later. Now speak the words I taught you. I'll get up without crossing myself, but I will go to the crossroads. On the crossroads, I'll draw a circle and step into it, and I shall speak. Good merchants, come and buy my cat. For this cat, give me neither inconvertible ruble nor a fine hat, but bestow me with knowledge of the dark and eyes with vision sharp. So as I have said, so it will be. My words are stone. Here are your merchants. Now listen carefully, if you value your life. To become a witch, you have to defeat this demon. Time for your first Zagavar. Such enchanted words protect from demons, but now draw up a company. This demon is nearly beaten. A couple more spells to read the world.
that, you monkey, hellhound? What? Entirely. What sort of- How rude. I'm your chief advisor. We will become better acquainted in time, I presume. I'm curious. Can the Black Book grant any- Indeed. As who knows? Perhaps you should- Who is worthy to open the scroll? No one in heaven, on earth, or beneath it has ever been able to open the scroll or look upon it. Yet. How do I open the seals? Oh. Can't figure it out by yourself, girl. I'm disappointed in you. Let me return to the land of the living. Not just yet. Have you forgotten your purpose? I name you a witch. How many demons will you take on for your service? Well, I will certainly need the help of demons. So give me as many as possible. Ah. But you are still too weak. Soon you will have three. Now perhaps we'll meet again. <laughs> 